wizards and witches. If you're wondering whether or not to pull for the new mythic cards or if you've already pulled them and still don't know how to use them, then this video is for you. If you know a lot about these new cards and think I might have missed something, feel free to comment it down below. As promised before, we'll be showcasing the new mythic cards, Harry Potter throwback, and Albus Dumbledore. Let's talk about the Harry Potter throwback card first. By the way, since it's a mouthful to say it every single time, I'll just call the Harry Potter throwback as HPT from now on. Every time you use two cards, HPT will apparate and launch an attack. The number of cards used are indicated by the small blue thunderbolts above Harry Potter's head. The attack launched depends on the MP difference between the two cards previously used. If there's a 1 MP or no difference between the cards, HPT just attacks the closest opponent. If there's a 2 or 3 MP difference, HPT's attack will explode and slow the opponents within the range of explosion. Finally, if there's at least a 4 MP difference, HPT will deal extra damage equal to 10% of the HP lost by the opponent, meaning the more low HP your opponent has, the more damage Harry Potter does if there's at least 4 MP difference between your previous two cards. The HPT companion is not a good guard to use when using the Harry Potter Echo. Since the Harry Potter Echo encourages Charms Masters to use spell cards with 3 MP or less, you can't really fully utilize the purpose of the Harry Potter companion card. It's better to use it with other echoes that promote the usage of higher MP spell card or summon cards. The Albus Dumbledore companion is very easy to use. Once summoned, Dumbledore will mark the cards you use during battle. After marking, spell cards will be used one more time meaning that they will be used twice the next time you use the marked spell card, but with less damage. If a summon card is marked, the summon is revived once, but with less HP. Also, once attacked, the Dumbledore Companion will use Side Along Apparition with the players in range and apparate to a random location. I guess the only downside to this card is that Dumbledore will leave on his own 15 seconds after being summoned. So it's better to practice the timing on when to use this card. In my opinion, I think that the Dumbledore Companion is a great card to use during best partners since it affects friendly players as well. Regardless of the echo you use it with, Dumbledore is a great addition to a witch or wizard's options in HPM game. So I guess that's it for today's video guys. Have you decided which mythic card to pull? Or maybe you finally decided not to pull either one. Sorry HPMA. Regardless of what you have decided, still have fun playing. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and tap in the notification bell so you'll get updated on the next videos. Also, if you want to watch more videos we created, Check out this video I posted last week about the new updates in Harry Potter Magic Awaken Season 5. If there's anything you want us to cover about the game, feel free to comment it down below. Until then, this is Kaz and I'm logging off.